I just want to be off the grid and, you know, Puff is pretty persistent. Issue. The issue is it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who... Buckle up, folks. Just when you thought the Diddy drama couldn't get crazier, hold on to your seats because we've got a bombshell Kim Kardashian and her entire clan are allegedly deep in the mix too. New evidence is blowing the lid off their involvement in Diddy's shady dealings, and it's sending shockwaves through Hollywood. But wait, there's more whispers of a sinister Hollywood cult preying on the downfall of other stars for profit. You won't believe what's really lurking behind Kim's glamorous facade. Brace yourselves for the scandal of the century. Getting ready to take down every superstar that ever was. But let's rewind a bit, shall we? Remember when Kim Kardashian, seemingly out of the blue, hit that unfollow button on Diddy's social media profiles? Yeah, that raised more than a few eyebrows. I mean, come on, the timing couldn't have been more suspect. Sandra, this is gonna turn into a huge scene that is gonna be an all day thing. And it involves, yes, P. Diddy. The home is actually registered to Bad Boy Films. Just a mere 24 hours before Homeland Security descended on Diddy's doorstep, Kim decides to cut ties. If that doesn't scream guilty by association, we don't know what does. But wait, there's a tangled web of connections here that goes beyond mere social media drama. Enter Lou Taylor, the shadowy figure pulling strings behind the scenes. You might not recognize her name, but she's the mastermind behind some of Hollywood's most notorious schemes. From Britney Spears' conservatorship debacle to Lindsay Lohan's legal battles, Taylor's fingerprints are all over the industry's darkest corners. Conservatorship, a lot of people are concerned for her right now. Robin, the conservatorship. I mean, people really think that maybe she needs help at this point. And guess who's cozying up to Taylor in this twisted game of power? None other than Kim Kardashian herself. Yep, turns out Kim's been in cahoots with Taylor, using her influence to further their shared agenda. But what exactly is that agenda, you ask? Well, it's not for the faint of heart. See, Taylor isn't just a manager, she's a puppeteer, orchestrating the downfall of stars for her own gain. And where does Diddy fit into all of this? Right at the heart of Taylor's web, funneling money through dubious channels to keep his secrets buried. It's a chilling revelation that has Hollywood reeling. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. But hold on to your hats, folks, because there's more. Remember Kris Jenner's controversial church, the California Community Church? Yeah, it turns out it's not just a tax dodge for the Kardashian clan. Taylor's got her claws in there, too, using it as a front to launder money and silence Diddy's victims. Talk about diabolical. So where does this leave us? Knee deep in a scandal of epic proportions with Kim Kardashian and Diddy at the center of it all. But as the layers of deceit unravel, one thing becomes painfully clear in Hollywood. Fame comes at a price and not everyone is willing to pay it. There seems to be no end to the drama when it comes to the life of Britney Spears. Once America's sweetheart, the headlines have now turned ugly. NBC's Peter Alexander has the latest. As an example of the victims of such industry gatekeepers is Britney Spears. The pop icon, once on top of the world, found herself trapped in a conservatorship nightmare orchestrated by her own family. In a gut-wrenching 22-minute voice note, Spears revealed the harrowing extent of her ordeal, declaring, they threw me away, that's what I felt like, my family threw me away. Her conservatorship, established in 2008, following a highly publicized breakdown, stripped Spears of autonomy over her life, subjecting her to control by her father, Jamie Spears, and lawyer, Andrew M. Wallet. Britney recounted chilling incidents, including being involuntarily hospitalized and forced into grueling work schedules while enduring emotional abuse. All I remember is that I had to do what I was told Spears revealed. I was told I was fat every day I had to go to the gym. I never remember feeling so demoralized. They made me feel like nothing. Spears' revelations shed light on the pervasive control and exploitation rampant in the entertainment industry. Despite her global success, she was relegated to a mere puppet denied basic freedoms and subjected to relentless scrutiny. And the facility that she's taken to at the time has to have the courage to keep her in there for as long as it takes. Throughout her conservatorship, Spears' family purportedly profited while she endured suffering in silence. Even her attempts to seek freedom were met with coercion and threats, leaving her feeling isolated and helpless. Yet amidst the darkness, Spears found moments of resilience and defiance. Despite the suffocating grip of her conservatorship, she persevered, finding solace in her music and the support of her fans. As Spears' story continues to unfold, the Free Britney movement amplifies her voice, demanding accountability and justice for years of injustice. With her conservatorship finally terminated in 2021, Spears has reclaimed agency over her life, embarking on a journey of healing and self-discovery. But the echoes of her ordeal reverberate throughout Hollywood, serving as a stark reminder of the dangers lurking behind the glitz and glamour. 
Spears' courage in speaking out has ignited a long overdue conversation about the exploitation of artists and the need for systemic change in the entertainment industry. I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background. As Spears' story continues to resonate, another celebrity voice adds fuel to the fire of controversy. Enter Yee, the enigmatic rapper turned provocateur, whose recent interviews have sparked their own firestorm of speculation. In a candid conversation with Fox News host Tucker Carlson, West peeled back the layers of his disillusionment, revealing a tangled web of betrayal and manipulation. I think he's telling everybody exactly what they don't want to hear. Drawing parallels between his personal grievances and broader political themes, West painted a picture of a world where power and control reign supreme. From accusations of celebrities being controlled by unseen forces to chilling references to Hollywood sacrifices, West's words sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these all you fake hard you. In a stream of consciousness that blurred the lines between reality and paranoia, West delved into the notion of Hollywood sacrifices citing his own mother, Donda West, and the tragic deaths of figures like Michael Jordan's father as examples of lives lost in the pursuit of power. My mama Donda West was sacrificed, West asserted, his tone somber yet resolute. Michael Jordan, what about him? His dad, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. Out here in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. As speculation swirled around West's cryptic remarks, the spotlight shifted once again to his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, and her alleged involvement in the web of intrigue. Rumors began to surface linking Kardashian to the same shadowy figures and clandestine dealings that West had alluded to in his interviews. And I wouldn't be here. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue. Could it be that Kardashian, once hailed as the queen of reality TV, finds herself entangled in a web of deceit far darker than anything seen on screen. Whispers circulate about her connections to industry insiders and powerful influencers, shrouding the truth in an ever-thickening fog of uncertainty. But the drama doesn't come to a halt there. Enter Sean Diddy Combs, the music mogul whose empire appears to crumble under the weight of scandal. Reports emerge linking Diddy to dubious financial transactions and backroom dealings, tarnishing the gleam of his once unassailable reputation. Amidst the chaos, speculation runs rampant about the true extent of Diddy's involvement and the lengths to which he will go to shield his empire from collapse. With whispers of a sinister Hollywood cult lurking in the shadows, the boundary between reality and fantasy blurs, leaving onlookers struggling to discern truth from fiction. Suit, it really did open the floodgates, as you said, because it detailed almost two decades of hidden. But as the dust begins to settle, one truth becomes abundantly clear the labyrinthine network of deceit and betrayal in Hollywood extends far deeper than anyone dared to imagine. From Spears' nightmarish conservatorship ordeal to West's incendiary revelations, the industry's murky underbelly stands exposed, a testament to the corrosive nature of power and influence in the world of fame. So could it really be that Diddy and his entire entourage are on the brink of facing legal repercussions, possibly even incarceration? With every new twist and turn in this saga, it seems more and more likely that the spotlight of justice is closing in, threatening to ensnare not only Diddy himself but also those in his inner circle, including prominent figures like Kim Kardashian. You know, I mean, look, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me, but... Recent developments seem to suggest that Diddy's legal troubles are far from over. In a shocking turn of events, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has raided two of Diddy's homes, one in Miami and another in Los Angeles. While initial reports hinted at a sensitive investigation by the NYPD, it's the involvement of the Southern District of New York, SDNY, that has sent shockwaves through Hollywood. Just last week, federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. The SDNY doesn't operate on a small scale. When they come knocking, it's usually with a formidable case in hand. And according to speculation, the investigation into Diddy could be linked to something far more sinister than initially thought sex trafficking and racketeering. These allegations align disturbingly well with Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, which included accusations of sex trafficking. The rapid settlement following Cassie's filing only adds fuel to the fire of suspicion. But what exactly does this mean for Diddy and his associates? Well, if rumors of a potential RICO case are true, then Diddy is just the tip of the iceberg. RICO cases are like a vortex sucking in everything in their path. They're not about singling out individuals, but dismantling entire criminal networks. And given Diddy's extensive connections and business interests, the fallout from such a case could be catastrophic for many in Hollywood. Personally, I've never met Diddy a day in my life, but when you do wrong, <laughs> it comes back on you. So none of us should be surprised. The ramifications of a RICO case extend far beyond Diddy himself. Anyone remotely associated with him could find themselves ensnared in the legal quagmire. 
And with reports already hinting at the possibility of more high-profile names being dragged into the fray, the scandal threatening to engulf Hollywood shows no signs of abating. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the unfolding drama surrounding Diddy, Kim Kardashian, and the shadowy figures lurking in Hollywood's underbelly? Do you believe there's more to this scandal than meets the eye? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for the juiciest stories straight from the heart of Hollywood.